Hi, let's dive into some criminal justice capstone research. So what I'm going to show you is the libguide I have made to help you be guided through the research process for your paper. You can get to your libguide from your Canvas course on the left hand side, just click on library resources and then you will see this page right there in your Canvas site. Okay, so that's how you get to the guide. The first page on the guide is to just help you make a plan. This is incredibly important, important for time management and for a project of this length that's very self-guided. Uh, the, there's a research scheduler here, the second box uh, toward the bottom. You just click on the start date, so say it's you know today, the Friday the 23rd, and your end date you know when the paper is due maybe um november 29th and you click on calculate schedule and what this does is it breaks down the steps you need to do every day gives yourself little due dates and a time frame for working on your project which is incredibly important okay you can print it out you can put in those dates into your own calendar as reminders whatever works best for you on this first page also is where you'll see some statistics, uh, some places to get stats uh, for no matter what your project is. It's, government websites are really important um, to get that, that data that you're going to need. So that's all on the first, first part, the first page of the guide. The next page is exploring your topic. So you might have a general idea about what you want to do, say domestic violence, but you need to get a little more specific when you're doing a capstone project. So here's again another outline of the research steps, which we talked about in the other video that you may have seen. And down here at the bottom are two different videos for um, developing a research question, which, is, which will really help guide your research. And then, so just some basic how to search tips in library databases, which I find students find is really helpful um, to give you some different strategies. So take a moment to watch those as well, especially while you're in the developing your research process phase because you want to make sure there's enough literature out there uh, to help support your research question. Okay, then once you develop your research question and have that approved by your professor, the next step is finding articles. Okay, um, you will primarily want to be using um, um, the library databases here in addition to the government websites. Okay, criminal justice database here through ProQuest will only be available through October, so if you, and then it's going away. So if you wanted to search that, search that first. Uh, but then you will still have access to Hein Online, which is our legal database and has some really, really excellent resources, uh, law briefs, and reviews that sort of thing and then criminal justice abstracts with full text which covers the range uh, of criminal justice scholarly uh, literature okay if you find something online that you don't have access that that you don't have access to through the library please fill out the interlibrary loan form we can get articles for you from other libraries which is uh, which is a really great system okay uh, there are some two videos here on the right that you might find helpful as well just how to take notes while you're reading, these articles are very long, and so taking notes in a, in a real systematic way will help you as you write your paper and annotate your articles. And then also summarizing and paraphrasing the articles that you read will help you incorporate the information into your paper as you synthesize all the data. All right, we do also have eBooks and books that you can check out in the library. So I have a link here to just criminal justice eBooks. You can read them online. You don't have to download them in order to read them or create a separate account. You can search them, just read a chapter, any number of things. Um, or you can search the entire eBook collection using your keywords for what you might want to, want to do. Okay. There's also a link here to APA format. You might need to get a little more specific, but, um, but this gives a sample paper and a st quick style guide because all of your citations on your reference list and in your paper need to be in APA format. So make sure you take a look at that page as you're writing your paper and as you're gathering your information. Please feel free to ask me, send me an email, stop by the library, anything like that, back on the front page of the guide 
uh, is my information. So you can, you can get a hold of me anytime and I'd be happy to go over your topic, your research question, making sure you're finding quality resources for your capstone project. Good luck.